Hi, I'm Miss Julie. Today's story is Dog Days of School. It is about a boy and a dog who trade places with each other. And we're also going to sing some songs today. We're going to start with the ABC song. So sing with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me once more? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? All right, everyone. It is time for a story. Dog Days of School. There's the dog on the dog bed. Dog Days of School by Kelly D. Puccio. Illustrated by Brian Briggs. Do you see there's some leaves? Charlie did not like going to school. Do you know anyone who doesn't like to go to school? He was tired of practicing his letters. He was tired of drawing pictures. He was tired of trying to explain himself to the teacher. Charlie was even tired of being tired. Look, he's brushing his teeth. Sunday nights were hard for Charlie. His stomach did flip-flops, and he could not fall asleep. You're lucky you don't have to go to school, Charlie told Norman. Norman rolled over on his back and snored. Can you snore? <laughs> Charlie looked out the window and found the brightest star in the sky. I wish I was a dog, Charlie sighed. <sighs> on Monday morning, Charlie woke up on the floor. He scratched his ear with his right foot and yawned. Charlie's mother came into the room and patted Norman's head. It's time to get up for school, sleepy, sleepy head, she said. So what happened? The boy and the dog traded places with each other. Norman jumped down from Charlie's bed. He ate breakfast, he brushed his teeth, and then he hurried out to catch the bus. Charlie smiled. He rolled over on his back and snored. Ah! So they're doing what the other one would normally do. So Charlie is in the dog bed. And guess what? Norman's at school! At school, Norman took Charlie's seat at table two. The children gave Norman a curious look and went back to practicing her, their letters. Norman practiced his letters too. Back at home, Charlie looked out the window and watched the leaves fall for hours and hours and hours. On Tuesday, Norman went to school and made a clay surprise. What is it? It's a fire hydrant and a food pyramid. What do you make the food pyramid out of? Bones. He ate birthday cupcakes and took a long, cold drink of water from the water fountain. 
Charlie ate dry biscuits and took a long cold drink from the toilet. Ew! On Wednesday, Norman learned how to play house and kickball and the maracas. Cha cha cha, cha cha cha, cha cha cha, cha cha cha. Charlie learned how to play fetch, fetching the ball. And how not to. Oh, he ran into a skunk. P.U. On Thursday, Norman built a house out of blocks. He painted a self-portrait. And he went on a field trip. Charlie went on a field trip, too. He went to the dog park. Looks like the dog wants to play frisbee. On Friday, Norman ran into some trouble with the scissors and the glue. The teacher scolded him for chewing on his pencil and the table and her shoes. And he had to sit through a long, awful, boring story about a cat. Across town, Charlie had to sit through a long, awful, boring day at the, where's he at? At the dog groomers. The weekend wasn't much better. Norman tried to play soccer. Who's he chasing? A squirrel. He tried to sit through a movie, and he tried to finish a triple hot fudge banana sundae with extra whipped cream. Yum! Meanwhile, what's Charlie doing? He's digging in the dirt. He's digging up the flowers. Uh-oh. Charlie spent the weekend locked up in the laundry room. Oh no, he's in the laundry basket. By Sunday evening, Charlie had had enough. He tried to write his parents a note, but they couldn't read it. He tried to draw them a picture, but it wasn't very good. He tried explaining to them, I'm not Norman. But his parents only heard, woof. Woof, woof. Bad dog, said Charlie's mother. And she put him outside in the cold. The wind howled. And Charlie shivered. Creepy shadows danced across the lawn. Charlie's stomach did flip-flops. And he could not fall asleep. He looked at the stars and sniffled. I really wish that I was a boy again. On Monday morning, Charlie woke up in his own bed. His mother came into the room and kissed his forehead. Time to get up for school, Charlie, she said. Charlie jumped out of bed. He got dressed. He ate breakfast. He brushed his teeth. Charlie went to school. What's he going to ride to school? A school bus. And Norman, Norman took a very, very long nap. And that's the story of Dog Days of School. All right, we had a dog in our story. So I think it's time for a song about a dog. The dog's name is Rags. So everybody can stand up and follow along. You're going to point to yourself. It goes, my little puppy's name is Rags. Do you like your eating? He eats so much that his tummy stags. His ears flip flops. You're going to do this. Flip flop. And his tail, wig wags, stick your hands behind your back like they're your tail, wig wags, 
And when he walks his hip, zig, zag. You go flip, flop, wiggle, wag, zig, zag. So let's try it. My little puppy's name is Rags. He eats so much that his tummy sags. His ears flip, flop, and his tail wig wags. And when he wags his hip, zig, zag, flip, flop, wiggle, wag, zig, zag. Again, my little puppy's name is Rags. He eats so much that his tummy sags. His ears flip, flop, and his tail wig wags. And when he wags his hip, zig, zag, flip, flop, wiggle, wag, zig, zag. One more time. My little puppy's name is Rags. He eats so much that his tummy sags. His ears flip, flop, and his tail wig wags. And when he walks, his hips zigzag, flip, flop, wiggle, wag, zigzag. All right, everyone, give yourselves a hand. In our story, Charlie wished upon the stars in the sky. Let's sing the song, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. All right, everyone, thank you for watching.